In this tutorial we're going to be looking at repetition in Scratch. Repetition means to repeat things and it is sometimes referred to as looping which is the most common construct you'll see in programming languages. Uh, there are a number of repetition structures in Scratch. I'm going to start by looking at the two, two of the simplest ones and they are forever and repeat a certain number of times. Now the forever loop is exactly what it sounds like. It's going to perform a certain action over and over again uh, until you stop the program. So the easiest way to understand this one, if you don't understand it already, is for me to go ahead and say when the flag is clicked then I'm going to do something forever. This is one of the tutorials where I'll actually make use of the uh, object on the screen and so I'll do something simple like I'm going to move the I'll move the cat maybe 100 steps and then I'll have the cat turn around so then I'm going to have it point to the left which is minus 90 degrees and then I will have it move another 100 steps the easiest way to do that is just to duplicate that move and then I'll have it turn back to the right so it's going to do these things and I'm going to add a little bit of a delay in between so that we can actually um, so that we can actually see these things happening. So I'm going to put a wait one second in at the end of each of those two movements. And if I go ahead and click on this, you can see the cat every one second it's moving 100 to the right and then turns around 100 to the left. This is not a very nice looking program, but it does show you the idea of forever looping. So long as I leave this running, this is going to continue to execute this particular program. So a forever loop is something that occurs a lot of programs when they execute. That's what they do. They just keep running forever until someone actually stops the program. That is probably the simplest type of loop, but it's also probably the least interesting type. Something that's a little bit more practical is this repeat loop. And so with, with the repeat loop, we can specify the number of times that we want to have something take place. So in this case, it's going to repeat 10 times. And I'm going to reduce that down. I don't want this going forever. So I'm going to do repeat three times. So when I, when I start this, there's the first time. There's the second time. And there's the third. And I've repeated three times. You can see that the execution window is no longer highlighted or glowing, and that means that the execution is stopped. So it repeated three times. The nice thing about a repeat loop, the idea of uh, being able to input a number here, is that we might actually ask the user um, how many times they want to repeat. So I'm going to create a variable called repeat count, and then I'm going to ask the user how many times to repeat and as we have tried to establish good coding practice says that although we could make use of this answer we could actually put that right here we could repeat answer times we whenever we ask the user for some piece of information we want to choose the name of the variable and we're going to save that for our use later on so I set repeat count to answer and then I put repeat count in there so I'm going to repeat repeat count number of times when flag is clicked this is going to start so in this case I'm going to ask the user how many times do they want to repeat I say five and you can see repeat count the variable has been set to five and this cat is going to go through this very simple motion five times and then we see that the program has finished executing at the end of that so there's an example of the two probably simplest types of repetition structures. One of them is the forever loop, and then we have the repeat loop. The forever loop is like putting a repeat for an infinite number of times. That's essentially the same thing. So this one is just going to keep going until the program ends. I'm going to do another tutorial where I'm going to talk about other types of repetition structures 
that are a little bit more versatile, not as simple, but they're going to allow you to have a greater range of possible activities.